Hi, hope this finds you well. From Joint Hands Green Life Trees once more, I'm John Bosco and I'm here to update you on progress of our fencing work. It is what we've been undertaking for better part of last week and the week that just kicked off yesterday. We happen to be at Mama Philly's home, the upcoming lawyer's home that is, and we've been uh, engaged here in fencing work that kicked off yesterday. And as I updated you in our previous video that I shot right in this compound was that before we embarked on this work, we had to confront uh, issues uh, pertaining to boundary, but we amicably managed to solve such issues and enabled us to kick off the fencing work. So uh, I'm updating you here that the posts that you see standing right behind me heading all the way towards the pit latrine uh, are standing on concrete whose curing will kick off as soon as tomorrow morning. So while that will be uh, running, we will be engaged elsewhere for some other work as we await that this these posts uh, get stronger before we start the work of uh, putting up the barbed wire and ultimately the chain link and as well as the gate. Now, uh, as we speak, this section that we've always used as the path to her home uh, has usually been in the neighbor's farm. So it means uh, this section here will be left to the neighbor uh, while we engage in the work of seeing that her gate will be opened up in this bushy section that you see. Uh, we will bring down the bush you see here because this post represents one side of the gate and the other post that you see to that side is also another section of the gate. And the posts that are to the front are the ones that you see here. We opted to uh, not clear off the entire fence at this time but we will clear the whole bush that you see behind us because it has been the fence that whole bush will be brought down and once we bring it down it will give us room to do the barbed wire and the chain link but once we finish that uh, these bushes are uh, pay apples usually even if we cut them down they'll still sprout and they will be bushy and uh, will provide more privacy to the front of the yard and coming over to this end uh, we also have got the post that I've already shown you. Uh, we are winding up this work so that we rush over to Kengariso where we're going to put up the the few uh, chain link uh, chain link rolls that we had already acquired. The team that has been behind this work are busy uh, clearing up whatever stuff that we were undertaking here and will get engaged. Uh, you can see Arthur there. Arthur was uh, Arthur was was the lead guy in this work uh, as I was running errands of seeing how we could get to Kengariso in time with all the materials as required. Now there is one guy whom you are meeting for the first time who uh, has uh, always helped us in transportation especially when it is not so bulky. Uh, uh, he's called, I'll give him opportunity to introduce himself. Hi guy. Hi guys, my name is Emmanuel Robert. Uh, the transport guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Emmanuel Robert uh, is a long-time friend and uh, we were with him in the Kenya Red Cross Society. He is uh, a senior first aider and also a first aid trainer uh, but while free and away from all such engagements sometimes he helps us uh, in transporting materials here and there using his uh, motorcycle that you see here and so into Kengariso. Right now we are still in Nyabohanse at uh, upcoming lawyer's home but as soon as we finish up whatever we are undertaking here uh, the journey will be leading us to uh, Kengariso. Okay Pamela there she is less of words today she yeah, and she is less of words. She doesn't have a lot to to speak here, uh, but uh, we uh, we so far uh, because again so far I've updated you on almost everything that we were undertaking here. Uh, some uh, ballast is left, some sand is left. We didn't finish it up because uh, it uh, it is gonna that whatever is left will be used elsewhere. Uh, uh, Arthur, 
You can have this, we're going to use this at Kengariso. These are called binding wire and is going to help us in uh, uh, holding the chain link onto the barbed wire, this binding wire here. And so it's go is what we're going to use. We worked with the same, same team. Uh, this team comprised of, uh, of Sami and Jack, Nelson Mandela didn't join us today because uh, he has to keep his job maintaining the nursery and ensuring that the tree nursery is doing just as good. I've walked all around and checked to ensure that uh, every post is well placed. Uh, as I look back there, I see that they are all well placed. Everything is in its place and I'm just so glad. The team that was working here has ensured that everything is placed uh, accordingly. So that is one task accomplished for the day. We are looking forward to uh, updating you on a lot more uh, within the day. For now, uh, I'm coming to the conclusion of this video so that we get engaged on uh, the journey to Kengariso to see Mama Fred and, uh, and work on her fence and also propose what is uh, doable, uh, what is appropriate for her compound. It's going to be quite some task, but uh, we're going to ensure that uh, it goes on well and successfully because uh, at Mama Fred there are lots and lots of what still calls for our attention. That's all we have for you from uh, Nyabohanse, uh, upcoming lawyer's place. But Pam, I want to give you the opportunity to conclude this video. I'll okay. receive my bye-byes <laughs> as, as I prepare the bike for the journey. So it has been good updating on uh, the upcoming lawyer's uh, project. And uh, we are looking forward to doing uh, the barbed wire and the chain link uh, immediately after the concrete is uh, well cured. That will be about after four, three to four days. And um, kindly, if you come across this channel, please consider subscribing, like, and share. Let's meet in our next video. And I say bye and thank you for watching.